Desi Farrell, I'd imagine your emotions are somewhere between disappointment and pride after that defeat. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Um, you know, bitterly disappointed for the players, uh, but yet immensely proud of them. You know, as I've, I've said to some of your colleagues, uh, a different dynamic um, within the group, like a lot of change, a lot of new young players. Some of them uh, got got time today. A lot of new players in the squad and uh, how, how they carry themselves. You know, um, how, how they went at it, particularly in that second half. Uh, you know, we can have no regrets and. Um, you carry your coming team and uh, you know deserve their victory on the day. And it came down to very fine margins in the end. When you look back on it, it was maybe in the first half shot selection, not maybe turning possession into scores. Yeah, the there, there was definitely some of that. It was difficult. They kicked a few odds though in the second half as well. Like that breeze was was tough to kick into, to shoot into, um, and you know there were close calls. Some I think by and large there were mostly good shots. You you couldn't uh, be upset with that. Just the accuracy was slightly off into the breeze, and um, on another day they're going over, you know. And as you mentioned, they're the finest of margins, and uh, it was it was going to be that type of a game. I think it was toe to toe, nip and tuck, and uh, it, it was going to be um, a fine, fine call or a bounce of a ball or the fine margin that was going to make the difference. Showed great character in that second half. Yeah, and you know we, we spoke about that a lot in terms of the character of the group, and this was always going to be a major test. Our character, um, and you know, I, I think they stood up as a group um, uh, really, really well. And, and for the, the newer players, that's that's a great experience for them. You know, the cauldron, and even to have to endure the disappointment in the dressing room afterwards, um, you can find strength in that as well, and that's important. In terms of the future for the next few years for Dublin football, you brought through a lot of younger players this year. Uh, as you say, they learn from experience like this. Would you be optimistic for the next few years? Yeah, and you know, it's. Um, it's probably well documented. The golden era is over, you know. There was, um, and it was uh, a time where there was immense talent in the squad. The talent is still there. It's coming. It's um, it's of a different age profile, perhaps. But um, uh, what was important, though, we, we saw the spirit and in the individuals and the character of individuals in the group, and uh, I, I think that bodes well for the future for this team. Thanks,